We have made this introductory film to prepare you and your family and friends for your operation and when you come into hospital. It will show you what to expect and do from the time before your operation to going back home. It will explain how you can take an active role in your recovery. By following this advice, you should feel better sooner and leave hospital sooner and it will also ensure that you avoid any complications from your operation. Your recovery depends on a partnership between you and us. So the key to the best result after surgery is preparation. We want you to live as normally as possible before the operation, but there's a few things that we want you particularly to focus on. If you're a smoker or you drink excessive alcohol, you need to cut right down because that will help you recover better after the operation. In the days to weeks before the operation, we'd also like you to undertake light exercise if you can. Walking is fine, just to get your body geared up for the recovery process. The night before the operation, we'd like you to pack a small bag of belongings, just packing the essentials that you're going to need for your time in hospital. And what's important is that you have a warm dressing gown and slippers for the morning of surgery while you're waiting to go to theatre. We want you to drink water up until two hours before the operation and we'll in fact give you preoperative carbohydrate drinks unless you're diabetic and we'll give you an indication about when you should drink those. You should think very carefully about who's going to bring you to the hospital and also focus on getting home afterwards. So your surgical team will give you an indication of how long you should expect to be in the hospital recovering and it would be a good idea to get your home ready for afterwards. You need to have a, a wash beforehand to make yourself clean, but it's very important not to shave near the area where the operation is going to be because that would increase the infection rate. You have a leaflet which will explain all of this in greater detail. Your admission letter will tell you the date of your operation, the time to come in and where to go. As the space is limited, we ask that only one friend or relative accompanies you. When you arrive at the admissions area, you will check in at the reception. You will see a nurse, be given an identity bracelet and meet your anaesthetist and your surgeon. They will check your personal and operational details. The surgeon will also check your consent with you and ask you to re-sign the form. You might be given TED stockings to wear. These prevent clots forming in your legs during the operation and post your operation. You will wait for your operation in a seated area. Shortly before going to theatre, you will be asked to put on a hospital gown. When you have an anaesthetic, what you'll do is come into the anaesthetic room and in there we check you in, particularly verifying with you that, that you're getting the procedure that you're expecting to get. We then will generally put in a cannula, which is a little needle, and through that thing we'll be injecting the anaesthetic that gets you off to sleep. Before you actually go to sleep, you get monitoring put on. There are lots of people in the anaesthetic team who are just focusing on making sure that you're okay all the way through the procedure. Following the operation, you'll be moved to the recovery suite and that's where most people wake up. Occasionally, you'll come to just as you're coming into the recovery suite, but for most people, you wake up in recovery with a nurse by your bedside who's just looking after you. At that stage, we'll then move you up to the ward to carry on with the next stage of your recovery. Normally, after the operation, you might have uh, lots of uh, tubes and drains. Depending upon the type of the operation, the number of the drains and the tubes will vary. Most of the time, these will come out on day one or two. Sometimes, very rarely, you may have to keep up to day three or day four after the operation. You can help us by doing uh, several things. We will make sure that you will get adequate pain relief. Uh, but what you can do is to um, start drinking and eating as soon as possible after the operation. We would encourage you to uh, get out of the bed and sit in the chair which will help to reduce the risk of uh, deep thrombosis and chest infection 
Again, we will make sure that you are comfortable and your pain relief is um, adequate. We also encourage you to start uh, walking around uh, in your own clothes rather than in the hospital clothes, uh, just to make you feel that you're, even though you had a major operation, but you're getting back to normal. We will also make sure that you get enough rest, which again uh, will help with the healing process. Overall, this will help you to um, get better soon and recover soon so that you can go home um, early which will be obviously the best place uh, to be in uh, rather than uh, stuck in the hospital uh, for several days unnecessarily. Thank you.